into the sawmill at a place called Tree Purpose in Livonia. It's about an hour drive on the highway. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. Got my fingers crossed, hope nothing goes wrong. This log is has this trailer pretty close to maxed out, so keep your fingers crossed for no uh, blown out tires or anything like that. Um, kinda wish I had a three quarter ton for this job. You can see she's squatting pretty good, but we'll get there. All right. Fingers crossed, there's no, there's not a ton of nails or anything in this log. Man, look at all these stacks. Jeez. I knew it was, if, like I said, I was jacking that whole entire piece up and it never moved an inch. After, after this piece, we'll have to be super careful because... We don't want it to crack? Uh, this one, I bet if I push half... You want to keep most of the weight over the, the axle? Yes, exactly.
this metal. Oh. I was like, this has got this really cool black. Yeah, like, dude, this is the one. This is proof there was a nail in it. Some guy 80 years ago pounded a nail in this tree, then this dude cut it down, then I put it on my trailer. These guys cut it up. And you just, I don't know, make a story, you know? That's a good point. Remind them that a human being made that stain, just yeah. like them who had a family just like them. They're going to eat dinner at their table with their family, their family, family. Just talk about the family. <laughs> you got it down. You got to make it emotional. Well, and it's like a dining room table, man. No one's no one's spending big money at a dining room table to not enjoy it with someone. Yeah. Whether it's their family or their friends or their wife or they're entertained, you know what I mean? Yep. I mean, maybe there's some guy out there, but usually you get a big eight foot, four foot wide table because, you know, you want to enjoy the people you're with. For sure. So just remind them that. Oh, dude, that's a good idea. not too happy <laughs> but this is an investment I think so hopefully I'll be able to make some really cool tables someday out of it and get my money back plus some so anyway that's the end of this saga of the walnut log I'm gonna take it to my uh, father-in-law's and get it stickered up and stacked nicely and it's gonna have to sit for about a year and a half and then at that point I can take it back to them they said they would uh, let me put it in their kiln with them with, with their wood so um, and then I can start building some stuff out of it so it's a time game and I have some other logs um, in the future but I'm probably gonna have to just get the, get a hold of them and, and not take them to the mill right away all right guys hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you next time